Sean Greco, The Bermuda Story. We can't take him anywhere, silly boy. You've actually had some chances to travel with Extreme Bartending, haven't you? You went to Bermuda? With yeah, you? definitely. Scotty, uh, Scotty called me up last year and uh, said, hey, let's go to Bermuda and uh, flip some bottles and uh, play some golf. So yeah, it was a great time. That's cool. Do you have any interesting stories from Bermuda? Um, <laughs> I got one little story. Uh, I was kind of leery about telling Scotty at the time, but uh, I was out. Uh, I was out partying with some of the bartenders. Um, they uh, they were they were buying me some shooters that night, and uh, I happened to stroll down one street and uh, had to had to urinate and uh, just <laughs> couldn't really find out couldn't really find a, a public restroom anywhere. So I uh, I kind of found the closest building and. Uh, yeah, it ended up being the police station, which I was like, ooh. God, and uh, yeah, so the guy's like, you know, would you do this in Canada? Or what would happen if you did this in Canada? I said, well, I'd probably freeze till April. <laughs> and uh, yeah, he didn't, he didn't find the humor in it, so, so well. not, not well at all. No. That's funny. You almost <laughs> got put in jail, basically. Almost got put in jail, and all I'm thinking is, I'm going to have to phone Scotty and wake And I know how much Scotty loves his sleep. I'm going to have to phone <laughs> him, wake him up, and have him come bail me out of jail. I'm like, I'm never going on a trip with them again. So luckily everything worked out and they, uh, they let me go and said, go to your hotel room and, uh, and go to sleep. So pretty much what I did. <laughs>